All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, today I have my K Tactical plate carrier uh, set up again. However, I took out those foam inserts and what we're gonna be adding to the plate carrier today are level four uh, US military standard issue ceramic plates and the Tacticon armament trauma pads. So uh, what these trauma pads do is say you're, you know, you, you get hit on the plate carrier your plate gets hit on the strike face, obviously. This trauma pad will be back here. And if there's any back face deformation where, you know, the round doesn't go through, but it did, you know, you know, uh, penetrate the plate back face a little bit to where it pokes out, trapping the round, but that impact is gonna hit your body if you don't have these trauma pads. So what these do will one, stop that over penetration, and two, absorb the shock that comes from that back face deformation. So when that happens, all that shock would normally hit your body, potentially breaking a rib, uh, knocking the wind out of you, and just getting you down for seconds or minutes, which uh, could cost you your life. So this is what's gonna help keep you in the fight. Um, these on Tacticon Armaments uh, website are like 32 bucks, I think. So not a bad deal to uh, potentially keep you in the fight and save your life. So I did order these a size bigger than my plates, um, just because there's a little bit of extra surface area there to you know make sure that I cover every edge of the plate. If you get them cut exactly, and then maybe it shifts inside the uh, plate carrier, I don't know, or it just jams up, then you have a potentially exposed edge where if it did uh, have some back face deformation that I would, the trauma pad wouldn't be covering it, I don't know. So uh, I ordered it a size bigger. That way I have a little bit extra room to play around with. Whether that makes sense or not, I don't know, debatable, but it is what it is. Now, I am not recommending or encouraging anyone to go out and get exactly the same plates that I have. That is up to you. I don't want to be liable if you get shot and your family is like, well, he got what you recommended. I am never going to recommend plates to anyone. What I run are... NIJ certified level four plates that will stop 30 out six, seven, six, two NATO, five, five, six NATO, all that good stuff. And they, like I said, they are ceramic and this is what uh, is standard issue for the military. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and add this stuff. Now, this isn't really sexy at all. I'm just putting the plates in the plate carrier. So obviously strike face is going to go towards the front where you would get hit. Ideally not get hit, but hey, uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Now, obviously this part is gonna go against your body. So it's gonna aid in comfort and again, any kind of back face deformation. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. Make sure it's all the way up in there, nice, nice and neat like. Tuck it in here in the corners. All nice and neat like. Velcro this bad boy nice and tight, and there we go. Got the uh, got the front end. Now let's do the back. Again, strike face towards the outside where you would get hit, and trauma pad against your body. Again, make sure you get your hand up in there and make sure that it is nice and flat and all the way up in the corners. You don't want this to be all jammed up, jumbled up and nasty because then it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to feel it and, uh, you know, it's not a good day. There we have it. Let's get this bad boy on and see what we got. All right, guys, so uh, here's the plate carrier with the plates, trauma pads, nice in there. It's nice and streamlined, nothing crazy, not too bulky. Uh, these are e-sappies, so they're a little bit heavier than uh, regular sappies, but uh, again, they offer that added protection against 30-odd, 6, 7, 6, 2 versus just your standard 5.56. 5, 
So uh, these are gonna hold up well for me. Again, don't take my recommendation. Do your research, do your homework, get the plates that you want and you feel comfortable with. But uh, for me, these are looking pretty cool. These are good and uh, I like this K-Tactical plate carrier. It's uh, I got a little loose, but that's because normally I'd have a little bit more stuff on, so I don't want to have it cinched down too much. So uh, again, K-Tactical plate carrier, Tacticon trauma pads, and uh, NIJ certified level four ESAPIs. So uh, I think it's a pretty cool setup. Let me know what you guys think and uh, any comments you have, I'll uh, try to answer them. All right, have a good one, guys.